Mm. Oh, wow, that is interesting. Huh. I didn't know that. Okay, let's see. Oh. <gasps> Wonder who that is. Oh, no. I completely lost track of time. I gotta run. <sighs> oh, oh. Whew. Hey, Mia. So sorry that I'm late. Huh. I was just at the library doing research and I totally lost track of time. Oh. You were right, Mia. Yes, I was just really absorbed in my research. You see, I decided I wanted to learn more about robot culture and it's all just so interesting. Thank you for understanding, Mia. And now that we've learned all about detecting bias in a piece of writing, I can make sure that I'm only relying on balanced sources for my research. It's been so eye-opening to learn more about your culture, Mia. Research really can broaden our horizons and teach us more about the world around us. This is a great opportunity to reflect. In your PDF, answer the following question. How can learning more about an unfamiliar topic expand our understanding of the world? Pause the video now and resume when you're ready to move on. We've got a great lesson planned for today, so let's dive right in. Today's lesson is going to introduce you to an important topic, research. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to explain why research is important and identify the steps of our research process. You'll also begin brainstorming for your own research project. So what exactly is research? At its core, research is a careful and organized study or investigation into a specific topic in order to establish facts and reach conclusions. It's a quest for knowledge, seeking answers to questions and solving problems. At first glance, it might be tempting to look at research as something just for scholars and scientists, but research is a part of our everyday lives as well, impacting decisions big and small. Let's look at a few ways that you may have used research without realizing it. Let's say you're really into video games, but you need to decide between two games to buy. You might check online reviews, watch gameplay videos, or ask friends for their opinions. That's research! What if you're thinking of trying out for a community sports team? You might research which sports are in season, what equipment you'll need, or even watch some matches to understand the rules better. Now that we've talked about some everyday examples, Let's pause to reflect. In your PDF, describe a time when you used research in your everyday life. Pause the video now and record your answer in your PDF. Resume when you're ready to move on. Now let's ponder this. Why is research so important? First, Consider the vastness of the world and our limited knowledge. Research helps us gain insights to make informed decisions. Remember when we talked about how bias can keep people trapped inside a bubble where everyone around them shares the same beliefs? Research is the antidote. It broadens our perspective, letting us understand people, cultures, and places worldwide. To really see the importance of research, let's think about how our lives would be different without it. Picture watching a news segment about an event in your town, only to realize the reporter got most of the facts wrong because they didn't research properly. Would you rely on that news source again? How about visiting your favorite amusement park? Would you go on a roller coaster designed by someone who didn't do their research about how to keep riders safely in their seats during the big drop? And those are just two examples. The innovation of many advancements we enjoy today, from smartphones to medicine, all owe their existence to in-depth research. The device you're watching this video on? 
Well, you can thank research for that. Wow, the world sure would be different without research. Before we dive into the research process, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned so far. In your PDF, answer the following question. How would life be different if no one bothered to do research? Pause the video now and resume when you're ready to move on. Now that we understand the significance of research, let's delve into how we conduct research. Research processes can differ depending on the setting, subject matter, and project, so we'll be focusing on our research process, which will follow for the rest of this unit. First, you'll need to select a topic to research. Begin with a broad idea and narrow it to something more specific to help guide your research. Step two is to search for sources of information, like books, articles, studies, and websites. You can search online or take a trip to your local library to find sources. Our next step is to evaluate your sources to determine if they are trustworthy and balanced. This will help you make sure you're collecting accurate information about the topic. Step number four is to gather evidence from your sources. Highlight, annotate, jot down notes, and consider how your sources fit together. Then we'll need to synthesize your sources by combining the evidence we collected with our own thoughts through writing. During this step, we'll point out relationships between sources and draw conclusions. And finally, the grand finale, presenting your findings. For this course, you'll be creating a slideshow presentation as your final project. Each step is vital. It's like building a puzzle. Every piece adds to the complete picture. Remember, thorough research leads to enlightening discoveries. Now that we've covered the basics of research, it's time to embark on your own research journey. Over the next few weeks, you'll work through the research process, completing bits of your project along the way. By the end of the unit, you'll have a completed research project that you'll present to friends or family. Your final project will be a research project about a culture that's different from your own. We can define culture as a collection of traditions, beliefs, celebrations, and customs that a group of people share. It's shaped by their history, where they live, and the stories they've shared. Each culture is unique and special in its own way. Today, you're going to brainstorm some countries that you might want to research further. Ultimately, you'll narrow down your research to be about a specific culture in that country. It's important to note that there are thousands of different cultures across the globe and not everyone who lives in a country shares the same cultural background or experience. For example, the United States is full of different cultural experiences. Now, let's take a few minutes to think about some places that you'd like to learn more about. Maybe you love anime and would like to learn more about Japanese culture to get insight into your favorite animated series. Or perhaps you know your great-grandparents emigrated from Italy way back in the early 1900s, so you'd like to learn more about the culture they left back in Europe. The possibilities are endless. Try to identify three countries you're interested in learning more about. Pause the video to record them in your PDF, then resume the video when you're finished. What did you come up with? You'll narrow down your topic later this week. Next time, we'll talk about searching for reliable sources of information, and you'll really start researching your topic in depth. Well, I want to get back to my research. Oh, you know, Mia, that is a great point. I should probably give myself a break. Maybe we can chat about some of the things I've learned instead. I'd love the insight of an actual robot. Don't forget to complete the Reflect on Your Learning question after the video ends. We'll see you next time. Farewell, literary adventurers. Read, write, and inspire. Hey, hey.